Yes. Good, good morning, everyone. Thank you to AK for giving me this opportunity to uh, make this presentation. I just start to uh, the, uh, the clock to not be uh, late. Uh, the title is Mozilla Hubs for Immersive Teaching. I was so fascinated by the uh, Mustafa presentation that I, I, I almost forget to, that was my turn, sorry. Okay, uh, just a, a, br a brief um, introduction to me. I'm uh, basically a CLIL teacher. Uh, that means that uh, I teach uh, history and geography in a CLIL approach uh, with the IGCC uh, syllabus, um, a sort of of uh, secondary education diploma for uh, high school uh, students. My students are 15, 16, uh, 16 years old. Uh, I'm also a teacher trainer in the University of Naples in the south of Italy, uh, L'Orientale, and I'm also a cultural mediator. Uh, please, uh, uh, I beg your pardon if my not accent is uh, far from me from to be like the Oxford or uh, Cambridge uh, accent, but I'm a subject and content teacher, basically, not a language teacher. Today we will talk about uh, the creation of learning and interactive scenarios on Mozilla Hubs. Uh, no need to introduce uh, virtual reality that was uh, uh, so brilliant uh, in, a, in a such brilliant way introduced by uh, the colleagues before me. Uh, I like this definition uh, because it's from NASA uh, and you know that uh, the first uh, to use uh, virtual uh, reality uh, where um, astronauts and the pilots uh, uh, to recreate uh, uh, the same uh, environment inside the uh, rover cockpits and that's why uh, I like this uh, uh, definition. Uh, when uh, uh, the pandemic started uh, uh, and Italy, as you maybe know, uh, was the second uh, country uh, after China uh, to have the pandemic spread, uh, we uh, were totally in, in total lockdown uh, since the start of March. Uh, last March, and uh, I find uh, uh, I try to find a way uh, to uh, engage my students uh, in lessons that uh, were not so uh, boring and so uh, uh, very difficult to 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 tolerate because uh, uh, all the situation was uh, already difficult for them. Uh, and uh, I was a totally beginner in the um, virtual reality world. Uh, I'm not a traditional teacher. I like uh, ICT, even though I, I have to be honest, uh, in my opinion, uh, a good teacher is good uh, also uh, with only a, a chalk and a blackboard uh, and not with uh, lots of special effects. But uh, when the uh, teaching uh, moved online, of course, we have to use uh, all the possible tools uh, we uh, have uh, at our disposal to, uh, in ca to catch the, our students' attention. And so um, I uh, find these uh, very easy, easy uh, applications Mozilla Hubs, and I like it very much because uh, you don't need a web connection. Uh, you, you just need web connection to use uh, this uh, uh, virtual reality application, uh, a notebook uh, or a desktop computer, also smartphone or tablet is possible. Uh, you don't need a, a, a real application. It's something that you can immediately uh, start from your computer. You just need a browser, uh, but uh, above all is an open source community. Uh, this means basically that uh, people can improve the tool uh, continuously and uh, also this, um, this tool is uh, uh, continuously changing uh, uh, thanks to the support of the people that uh, uh, contribute to, to its uh, um, development. Uh, Mozilla Hubs is a free open source software uh, it requires no subscription. Uh, it's a um, virtual reality social platform created in uh, uh, 2018, uh, but its use is not exclusively restricted to Firefox browser. You can 
also used from uh, Google Chrome and uh, it's not uh, important uh, to you to have uh, uh, Firefox browser. Uh, it's also, we can define it uh, a chat room designed for every headset and browser, but it's also an open source project that explores how communication in mixed reality can come to life. Uh, the most important thing uh, to underline, to highlight, that uh, we use at Mozilla Hubs without any uh, device, any support, uh, uh, such as, for example, visors, glasses, or globes, uh, because, of course, uh, you need to, to buy uh, all this, uh, this stuff. You can use uh, with only with your desktop computer or mobile. Uh, of course, the level of immersion is uh, different uh, according to uh, all the set you, you have uh, available. But anyway, it's a very good experience uh, also without any of these uh, um, uh, other uh, supports. Uh, with Mozilla Hubs, uh, you can create a, uh, a, a third-dimensional space for virtual events. People can access it with a six-digit code or uh, the link uh, uh, that the system uh, automatically generates when you create the hub room. You can enter the room that someone else has created for you and shared with you by an invitation. Uh, I underline that this is a very important uh, uh, step, the fact that uh, it's a safe, uh, uh, controlled environment for students uh, because uh, it's, uh, it's closed and so uh, people are uh, uh, admitted just uh, by uh, invitation. Uh, and it's also good to teach, of course, because uh, in the online lesson and distance learning, uh, Mozilla Hubs give its best. Uh, it's very easy. Now I don't connect directly to the Mozilla Hubs because when <laughs> you use uh, uh, different uh, um, platforms, so for example, in, the, in this case, Zoom platform and Mozilla Hubs in the same time, some problems may occur. So I will show you uh, very briefly, uh, step by step, because it's really very, very simple. I, say, I always say that this tool is uh, good also for technophobic uh, uh, colleagues, because I have lots of uh, uh, colleagues uh, and uh, teachers like me that in my school are very frightened uh, about uh, everything is uh, technological. Also because, uh, to be honest, uh, sometimes we are also very fed up with uh, uh, technology uh, because it's really too much now, no? Uh, but in this way, really very, very uh, easy. That's why I uh, suggest it. Um, I recommend it. Uh, so you go to this, uh, li uh, this link, uh, uh, hubs.mozilla.com. You just click on create a room, as you can see uh, in the image on the slide. You don't need an account, I repeat, to create a room, uh, but it's recommended to open an account because in this way you can save all your learning scenarios you created for your class. Uh, of course, it's totally free. Um, and after uh, you can uh, um, you go in the upper corner, sign up to, uh, to make an account. When you click the button, uh, a random scene will be created uh, on your screen uh, and uh, is ready to be uh, uh, to be changed and uh, the uh, all the day it, it changes you want to do to this uh, uh, scenario for example in this yes Hi, so um, in this uh, uh, slide, uh, you can see uh, the hub room uh, I created for the, this uh, round table. Uh, as you can see um, from the screen, uh, um, there are very uh, few uh, commands and uh, um, uh, options that you can choose and they're very easy to use. Uh, on the left, you have the uh, symbol, symbol with the letter uh, because uh, it allows you to invite your students uh, or embed the link in your online course. Uh, the microphone uh, allows you to mute or mute yourself. Uh, the share option allows you to share your video or your screen in a 3D picture in the room that is uh, also uh, customizable so you can uh, change everything in the scenario. Uh, of course, you have a gallery of already done uh, three-dimensional scenarios for you, but you also use uh, uh, 3D Spoke uh, and you create your scenario according to your uh, abilities um, in, uh, in uh, this. Um, you uh, have the uh, place button 
uh, with the place command uh, allows you to access uh, a library of these uh, 3D models for your scenarios. Uh, you have also GIFs uh, and other applications, and uh, you can also uh, upload all your own, uh, own media uh, pictures, web links, uh, presentation, videos, PDF, and so on. Uh, the pen uh, symbol allows you to write uh, on uh, any surface you would like uh, in, the, uh, in this scenario. Uh, for example, using it uh, such as a, a, an interactive board. Uh, camera allows you to record yourself uh, and uh, so the, uh, the lesson can be uh, recorded. Uh, on the right, you see um, um, uh, all the uh, different uh, options so you can uh, choose uh, to give a title to your room and a bre very brief description. Uh, usually in Italy, high school uh, uh, classroom are about uh, uh, 25, 24 students, uh, um, not more than this. And this is the perfect size for a, a Mozilla Hub room uh, because uh, I mean, usually they say that it's possible also to have uh, uh, 50 uh, people inside in the same moment but of course uh, uh, for students especially for young students uh, and uh, teenagers uh, uh, the situation can be very chaotic um, uh, you can also uh, give them some permissions uh, for example you can all of them to create and move objects uh, to create uh, cameras to pin the objects to create drawings emoji uh, to all of them to fly uh, of course it depends on uh, uh, the level of education of the students if they are a little bit uh educated uh, is better to not give them uh, too much permissions uh, and uh, so it's uh, it's up to you uh, you uh, can choose the avatar uh, to enter this uh, uh, VR uh, room and uh, you can personalize and customize it uh, for example yeah you can see uh, some avatars that are offered by the system uh, that are available in the system and on the right you can uh, I show you uh, is it's very easy to uh, to change the avatar. Uh, I have five minutes. I go very very fast. Uh, of course, if you use the mobile, you can uh, make all the movements uh, using your fingers. Uh, it's a touch move. Uh, but uh, uh, otherwise, use the keyboard. Uh, and the arrow keys uh, uh, keys are uh, the ones that you see. Uh, A S D. Uh, you can also fly if you use the G. Uh, if you press the G key. Um, and uh, I like this because it's a, a student is a very gamified environment and the students are very stimulated because they can uh, experience the information directly in this environment. Uh, and when you uh, learn something in a particular space that is very catching and moving, um, uh, you remember what you learn um, more easily. Uh, that's why I uh, suggest it. Uh, some very fast examples, for example, in this case, for a geography lesson in CLIL approach, uh, we uh, simulated a climate change form. This is the uh, old version. Uh, I mean, the graphic is a little bit different now. The comments are uh, under in the button, not, not up, uh, up, because now it's a change. That I, saw, I told you is an open source, so uh, the changes are uh, continuous. Uh, for example, in this case, we created a conference on the 2030 agenda for sustainable development. The students present, presented their, present their um, presentation and opinions about this is for was for geography and there was a debate in this case for example a lesson in art uh, because you have the scenario of a pattern on uh, the ancient uh, temple you can ask students uh, to act as uh, um, tourist guides and to illustrate and uh, to uh, explain the different states that you put, you collocate in the, the scenario. It's nice because uh, Mozilla Hub scenarios suggest you the task and the real, real life task and that you give uh, the assignment that you give to your students. It's something very natural. You just choose the scenario and uh, like a sort of, uh, a magic uh, uh, thing, uh, the, the task will be very easy to use to create uh, a task according to the scenario. For example, in this case, a virtual exhibition on the, on the First World War, uh, the life in the trench, students are asked to 
explain the pictures uh, uh, in the museum, in the virtual museum. Uh, they put together um, pictures from uh, uh, digital collections such as, uh, for example, Europeana, and they, uh, they act as uh, uh, museums uh, guides. Uh, you can also, um, uh, for example, invent uh, uh, some action maze challenge with your students because uh, you have, uh, among the scenarios, you have also the uh, maze uh, scenario, uh, something, a sort of challenge uh, to, uh, to win uh, a particular uh, prize, uh, such as in the, in the example I give you in this slide. Um, for example, this is an activity that you can uh, uh, invent for your students on uh, for uh, science, clear science, clear science. Um, you ask your, stud stu your students to upload on the lunar surface in Mozilla Hubs, the rock types uh, you can find on the moon. Um, and after they have uh, to explain the features of each rock type they uh, put on the uh, Mozilla scenario. Uh, the reaction of the students was very positive. Um, the understanding of the content uh, of the subject uh, uh, was uh, good. And also the test uh, show with uh, the results of the test over the IGCC uh, test uh, give me uh, a proof of this. Uh, their creativity is uh, um, really stimulated by Mozilla Hubs because uh, uh, the learning environment is uh, shared with the students and students are pr protagonists in, uh, uh, in this uh, learning scenario. Uh, is also, uh, there is also a, ga a gamified approach and students uh, love to game. Every one of us also <laughs> love to game. Uh, and also is a very inclusive. Um, all the students told me that uh, never of them felt invisible. Um, and as we saw uh, before with the uh, um, wonder, uh, there is also the special, uh, is a special chat uh, with um, uh, Mozilla Hub. So uh, it's not like, uh, it's not like in, uh, in a Zoom, in a Zoom, or in other, uh, or in other um, um, platform, when uh, uh, the people, uh, uh, when the students uh, uh, talk one on a, on another, and so it's very different to not be in the chaos. Okay, I have stopped my uh, my time. So my time is finished. Uh, I will uh, upload this uh, um, presentation on. Uh, on this link, but of course uh, I can share with uh, Egg and, uh, and with all uh, the participants on, on the conference. Uh, this is my email. Uh, I was so smart that I put my birth date, <laughs> so you know my age, and this is my mobile uh, number. Uh, thank you for everything, and uh, sorry thank if uh, I went so, so fast, uh, but uh, uh, I'm, ah, I'm you did to... fine. Emma, uh, there's quite a number of questions here in the text chat. Would you mind staying here a little bit longer? Of and course, I, I them, just... Uh, I'm just... them in text chat? Yes, of course. Thank you so much.